Listen, Sean O'Malley, he, listen, we got to break it all down. This man is one of the hottest men in sports. Listen, he came out and called out Javante Tank Davis and it sent shockwaves throughout the sports world. And King Ryan Garcia had to come and tell him to pump the brakes, pump the brakes. And it's a lot that we need to discuss, man, because this is like a new trend, you know, where, you know, boxers are being axed, you know, these kind of things, you know, whether it's a UFC fighter, whether it's one of these fighters that go out there and have these exhibition fights that feel like it's a Super Bowl weekend, you know, clear as day, man. I don't believe that any of these guys belong in the ring with professional boxers, but we got to break it all down. We must. Sean O'Malley, he came out off of a dominant knockout performance, you know, um, against Sterling, um, and it's just, it was unbelievable. He, he TKO'd him in the second round. I don't think anybody's seen that coming. Um, there's so many ramifications, you know, involved in the situation. And now after that, you know, he's, he's feeling so, so confident. He think he could take out Javante Tank Davis. I want to remind people who Javante Tank Davis is. Not only is he a guy, you know, who completely knocks out and obliterates opponents, but his boxing skills is immense. And I don't think that he gets enough credit for it even still to this day, despite him showing it time and time over. Make sure you subscribe for more boxing news updates and more, especially if you're rocking with Sean O'Malley. We may be bringing some UFC content. So if you want some Sean O'Malley and some UFC content, subscribe so we can bring more of that to you. Javante Tank Davis, 29 and 0, no losses, no draws. 27 wins violently, by the way, a knockout to Southpaw, 5-5, with a 67-and-a-half-inch arm reach from Baltimore, Maryland. We all know what's going on with him. He is Mr. Baltimore, the WBA regular world lightweight champion. Um, and he felt like he ready to take all the belts if he was put in a situation. He's on the record of saying that, listen, um... There's a couple of fights he want to have before he think about doing anything else. And and it's, it's some of the top names of boxing is Shakur Stevenson and it's Devin Haney. So if you Sean O'Malley, I know that, you know, um, clearly you, you got to side yourself. You know, you on the camera, they, they sticking microphones in your face, you know, and Sean O'Malley fresh off of completely annihilating his opponent in his sport of the UFC. You know, Sean O'Malley says he wants to box Javante Tank Davis, you know, and like I said, King Ryan Garcia is urging him to chill, urging him. Um, I want to give some quotes, you know, from the situation, you know, um, he said, I also wouldn't mind knocking on Javante Davis and I know people are going to go, oh, you want to be Conor McGregor. He he said at the post-fight press conference, I'm telling you, that fight is going to happen. So clearly, Sean O'Malley wants to fight with Javante Davis. I, I, I think these people are seeing money, you know, when they, when they look at these fights. We all know that Tank is everybody's biggest payday, um, part of me. Especially when you see some of these fighters, you know, they um they all want to fight with Tank despite them, you know, really not feeling confident of even winning, you know, and they really putting themselves, you know, on the line in a situation like that. So I hope Sean O'Malley, his team and everybody could could consult with him and intervene in the affairs, you know, um, but these are some things that people are questioning. Can Sean O'Malley beat Javante Davis in a boxing match? Clearly, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I think that's some of the most disgusting things that people could even utter out their mouths. This is why I don't like the celebrity boxing. This is why I don't like things like this, because you start mingling them in the affairs of real boxers. Somebody could really get hurt out there, y'all. And the answer is no. You know, um, this is just the most idiotic thing ever. You know, he's just not a professional boxer. And Javante Davis is one of the top boxers, if not um, the best boxer in the world. You know, so putting him in the ring with a guy like O'Malley, I think, could be dangerous. You know, um, 
it just could be completely dangerous and vice versa. You know, nobody should walk into the UFC. Like, Javante can't go in there. It's, you've seen what happened with Floyd, right? People talk this Conor McGregor stuff. Conor wasn't going to go. Well, Floyd wasn't going to go in the MMA ring and, and, do, and do it with McGregor. You know, why would, he would never do that. You know, that's, that's really crazy, you know, to do some mixed martial arts. So it would have to be that. But Ryan Garcia put out a tweet right after. He says, Sugar Sean, you are really good and all, but stop talking about this. I'm going to box stuff. You're just gonna get knocked out. So and and I and I believe him. If Ryan Garcia wasn't, you know, um, you know, right, he 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 sure was right here. You know, I give him major props. He's definitely answered the call after losing to Ryan Garcia. I mean, part of me losing to Javante Davis. You know, he changed up his team, and you know, he's looking to be effective in the sport, looking for big fights. And, and same thing, I, I don't believe O'Malley could beat Ryan Garcia. You can't beat a boxer. You're not a boxer, you know. MMA, they have striking. They have boxing in, in mixed martial arts. But mixed, a mixed martial artist is not a boxer. And a boxer is not a mixed martial artist. You know, it's completely two different, you know, styles. And like I said, you just got to be very careful, you know, and show respect to all of them. But... Clearly, it's money on the line here when they keep pushing around Javante Davis's name. They want to get some of that money, you know. And let's see if, you know, Javante um, entertains any of this, you know, um, because we all know that his mentor, Floyd, did fight Connor. So it's only right for him to eventually take fights like this. But let's see how soon he, he'll be willing to do it, you know. Um, I think it's still some other fights on the table before we start entertaining, you know, charity cases like this because that's what it would be for Javante Davis. You know, it would be a charity case. It would be a fight, really, like for the fans, you know, because he'll have no shot, you know, and Tank would just play with him. And, you know, and I just would hate a build of people really believing that this guy had a chance. You know, even Jake Paul, for instance. Jake Paul isn't the best boxer in the world. But you see who he who he's boxing up against. You know, he's not boxing up against fighters, you know, real boxers, you know. But he's fighting up against the mixed martial artists who he know are not real boxers. You know, and they're getting in the ring with him and they're getting completely exposed. You know, because they're mixed martial artists, man. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens with all of this. You know, the fight game is getting out of control with all this craziness. But let's see what happens, man. It's flight sports. You know, uh, King Ryan Garcia was absolutely right. to warn this man, O'Malley. Pump the brakes. Enjoy your win. You know, you're the, you're the champion of the world. UFC, you know, it is what it is, man. It's flight sports. We're going to be documenting it all, man. Peace and love.